All right, so back at it. We're looking at 7 and 8. Uh, our y-intercept here, uh, we already found out it's going to be 3 based on that number. Uh, what is our slope here? 2. 2. Good. Um, remember when we talked about slope, we always want to put it as a fraction, though, right? So how would I write 2 as a fraction? Just put a 1 underneath it, right? Yeah, we talked about that. So that would be 2 over 1. Good. Well, I'm glad you didn't say that then. Okay, because you always, if you have a whole number, to make it a fraction, just put it over 1. And that's what that would look like, that 2 over 1. So the y-intercept tells us where we start on the graph. I'm going to kind of zoom in a little bit more. You always start on the y-intercept. Always start on the y, well, I guess the y-axis, the y-axis. You would go to 3 on the y-axis, so let's put a dot there. That's our starting point, correct? <clears throat> and then what's that? What's the 2 and 1 tell us? Which way are we going to move? Good. Up 2 and right 1. I like it. I like it. So from that dot, from that dot, I go up 2 and right 1. And I put a dot on that next point. And then we continue to do that, right? From that new dot, go up 2, right 1. Okay, once you run out of space, then you can kind of go the other way. What's the uh, the opposite or inverse of up to right one? Down to left one. Excellent, I like it. Down to left one. Down to left one. And notice our line, if we follow the dots and follow the pattern, you should have a very straight line if you, if you look at it. So then from there, connect the dots. Connect the dots right there, and we have our line, okay? Notice that's a positive slope, right? It's going up. Uh, you always look at it from left to right, and it's going up. So good work, good work. And that's how you look at it. There you go. All right. Uh, let's look at the next one here. <clears throat> X equals 4. Oh, this is a good one. Do we have a y-intercept here for X equals 4? Uh, no. no. So it would be none. What about our slope here? X equals 4. Do we have a slope? We don't. It's going to be something. What is it going to be? Undefined. Undefined. Yeah. Undefined. Uh, we list, if you listen to slope, dude, that's what the guy, the guy says. It's pretty funny, actually. So we go to X equals 4. So, uh, Nigel, what axis are we going to? Are we going to the Y axis or the X axis? The x-axis, because it says x equals 4. So you go to the x-axis, go to 4, put your dot on 4. Which direction is that going to go? Up and down. Good, that goes up and down. <laughs> it happens, it happens. Uh, and that would be our graph right there. Uh, for x equals 4, just go somewhere on the x, where the number it says on the x, and then you draw a line going up and down. Line going up and down. 